one of the things that to me is really remarkable about this film, and we talked about this some at dinner, is the fact that it's so much more character driven and that you put a lot of emphasis. Well, uh, I was very fortunate. The, the story, of course, is a fairy tale. It's not science fiction. I never thought of it as science fiction. Um, it's a second act, for me, of a three-act play. The first act ends at a grand climax. The second act can't end in a grand climax. It has to be sort of an advertisement for the third one. It has to slide effortlessly, effortlessly into the third act. So I had the peculiar story where in the first part of the picture, there's a huge battle on the ice. Well, where do you go from there? From there, I can't duplicate that size battle. But what I can do is have time to play with the characters. And that's what I really enjoyed the most. So by not having big action, big action, big action, I had my action. Now I had the time to play with the characters and make them come alive and try to bring some humor to the situation. Because I feel that a film like this, which is an entertainment, without humor is dead. And I wanted it to be alive. So I had the time to play with the characters and the humor and small actions, which, uh, which I could control pretty well. It was different from the usual film. I couldn't end on a grand climax.